New toy came in the mail. Look at my arm. Look at the Here's the angle. I gotta swallow it. Yep. This little light situation is not cool. Gym. Gains. Oh, shit. This is nice though, having this tripod. Yeah. What's up, Nick? comfortable from down here, but I guess no, this is the angle. That's what Lochmi says. I'm loving this new tripod. Like, I feel like I can just all around. Oh. Couldn't record our top sets uh, because I need a spot, obviously. Will's not here. I need a spot, and then Lochmi need a spot. So I'm gonna record my second set. So back now, so I'm doing a reverse pyramid, so 195 uh, for five, so nothing too crazy. Um, so, here we go. Alright, been a little recording my set. Um, didn't record the 195, so this is my third set. So back down 175 um, for an 8 plus set. I usually don't go with anything crazy about like an RP9. I don't actually go full camera to complete failure. So, there we go. So, uh, just got done doing incline dumbbell press um, on the low incline. Today is a hyper day for chest, the push day, um, which I'll talk about a little bit, but um, basically um, it's my push day, it's hyper for chest, and for shoulders and triceps for strength today. Like I said, I'll talk about it in another video, or later on in this one actually. Um, so I moved on to a machine press, which you guys just saw. And, uh, I mean, the, I think the big thing with machines is that a lot of people stray away from them and think they have to do heavy dumbbell, you know. I, perfect example would be right after doing incline bench, incline dumbbell, and most people go to flat dumbbell. Um, honestly, I feel like I'm pretty fatigued right now. I don't have it in me to properly execute a flat dumbbell press to the best of my ability. And so uh, I'm making the smart decision to do a machine that simulates that movement. Not really worrying about the basics yet, but focusing on progressive overload here, progressing on this machine, tracking my weights the same way I would with a freeway machine. And make sure picking one that, you know, it simulates the movement correctly, so. Here we go, set number two. Look at that face, intensity. Intensity. No intensity. None. Oh, man. So, after, uh, I'm gonna get flagged for this music. For sure. I'm gonna cut the clip here and anyone. So, 
basically got done uh, with the machine press, three sets, and then did two sets of flies, um, like you just saw, moving on to shoulders. So because it was my uh, hypertrophy chest day, which was a little bit lighter, shoulders and triceps, like I said, is going to be a little bit heavier. So here we go, uh, standing dumbbell press. I'm going to start with a 45, see how that feels. Here we go. Standing dumbbell press, try it out. I don't like it. Um, I'm gonna move next push day. Uh, my main shoulder move, I'm gonna move to some kind of machine, whether it be this plate loaded military press or that pin loaded shoulder press. Um, it's not liking dumbbell press and OHP, really been bothering my shoulder. I'm kind of rehabbing my left shoulder. Can't close grip bench, really bugging me. So, anyway, um, did lateral raises. I'm going to try some. Tricep day one to go for somewhere in between the four to six range. As you guys can see, it's on the full stack um, and it's it's not heavy enough. I'm not saying that to be a dick or anything. So, obviously, gonna finish this workout the way it is, but keep in mind next time I do triceps, I'm gonna have to figure out something I can do that I can overload on properly that I can still do as an exercise. So, let me finish that up and get the tricep press up. I'm like, hey, what's up, my love? I see my trap, why you let me up the hand, though? You be coming up, I'm like, I'm far from land, though. You be so cold, talking about the land, though. And I'm like, I'm on the line, never like it. I gotta say, I am loving uh, this tripod. It's just so easy to walk around with the camera and. I don't know, it's just really easy. I don't know why I didn't get it before. So, anyway, um, we're going to talk about the split in a second. First, watch me multitask. I'm going to clean these tenderloins, cut them up, season them. Um, while I'm letting them sit and kind of soak in the seasoning, that's when I'm going to talk to you guys about the split. And I'm going to cook these, and then I'm going to have dinner, and I'm going to show you guys dinner, and then I'm going to have a snack, and I'm going to show you guys that too. So, uh, yep. I don't know, it's just fun to record. Like when you don't record for a long time, those of you guys who have your own YouTube channels, when you don't record for a while or a long time, you kind of get like an itch to record. Like today I just knew, like I was like, I'm gonna record today, I'm gonna record tomorrow. I just feel like recording, so uh, yeah. Next clip. All right, so the chicken is done. Um, I'm gonna let that sit and talk to you guys for a little bit. So, all right, basically the way the split is, is a push, Pull legs, just we switched it so it's a push legs pull day, it just works out better for us. Um, it's the first time, believe it or not, that we've ever done, we meaning me and Lakshmi, um, have ever done a push pull leg split. We've always worked out six days for the most part, but we've always done like a chest and arms, um, you know, back in triceps and shoulders, or I mean, back in shoulders, legs, something like that, some kind of variation, but we've never done a full on push pull. Um, leg split so I have to say um, I'm really really enjoying it I don't know do you like it so far? Are you, I'm not 
You're liking it like more than our usual splits, or I don't know. You're not really doing a full push day though, like. No, but if I had to choose, I actually like other splits. Yeah, yeah. So Lakshmi likes the other one better. Um, I don't know. I think I just got tired of doing that, and just something new is is what excites me with this, I guess, because I'm really looking forward to going to the gym. Um, there was a point where motivation was lacking, but I don't know. It's back. So. What I'm doing is a type of DUP kind of periodization um, where I'm having, so let's start with push. day one, push day. Our bench portion is hypertrophy. Our shoulders and tricep uh, portion is strength focused, okay? Day two, legs, um, is gonna be hypertrophy, okay? Day three, pull day, is gonna be back, it's gonna be um, strength focused and biceps is gonna be hypertrophy focused. Now go to day four, which is push the second push day. Okay, that's gonna be where chest is gonna be strength focused and shoulders and triceps hypertrophy. So if you kinda get the idea, legs is gonna be a full strength leg day and pull day is gonna be back hypertrophy bicep strength. And so that's the way that's working. Now obviously there's some linear periodization in there and what I mean by that is from week to week as we progress. Uh, I'm trying to kind of switch to an RPE type style of training because I'm really not liking basing things off percentages. I find that um, it doesn't work best for me. So that's basically the way the workout split is going but um, I'm still finalizing it. Like I, I just finalized today um, just in time to do it in terms of exercise selection, exactly what I want to do because I want to run this for a good at least, you know, like about an eight week cycle um, without taking a deload. And have an overreaching phase in there too. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna continue working. I'll keep you guys updated. I'm actually typing it up on Excel and everything. So I'll keep you guys updated on that. Um, I am gonna cook the chicken now and then I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's done. So got the chicken cooking up there and then Got some rice in the rice maker. Um, so we're gonna eat that. And then as a quick snack, I'll just show you guys now. Gonna have two serving of pop chips, cheddar cheese. Literally guys, if you like Cheetos, these are healthy Cheetos, like exactly. And then gonna have, let's see. Two servings of Fairlife chocolate milk. And so, if this will focus, it, that'll in total be 9 fat, uh, 26 carbon, 26 protein. So, that's nice. Um, and that's going to conclude the day. If you guys like this kind of video like I uh, did talking in the gym and stuff, now I kind of have um, that ability. We both do because we go to like a smaller private gym and we go later at night, so it's pretty empty. Um, if you like that kind of style of video, or whatever drop a comment below let let me know let us know um and yeah that's about it all the links are in the description as usual if you want to follow us on instagram on the facebook page um and you know i haven't done like a big announcement or anything but if anyone's interested in coaching or just doing a free consultation just to talk um you know about where you're at your goals whatever whatever go uh kbfitnesscoaching.com the link is in the description too and i'll put it on the screen um, and you can sign up for a free consultation there or you can reach out to me um, at my email and we'll talk from there. So that's about it guys. I'm about to get to eating and yeah, we'll see you guys in the next video.